There's no excuse for not talking to the world. It just doesn't have to be your thoughts and words every time. My friends, the key to content success is you've gotta start documenting instead of creating. Let me tell you how to start. Guys, uh, I know I look like the Emperor from uh, Star Wars right now, but I'm uh, very high in the air back from London, headed to uh, New York City. I decided to do a, uh, a video. So many of you are stuck and can't start. And I broke it down into the what, how, and where, right? WHW, right? Like, what are you gonna talk about? But the way all of you need to do this and how you actually start is by doing. You haven't done anything yet. You know, this whole fake it till you make it brings no value to anybody. You need to make something. And that thing is a manifesto. It's always been obvious to me. It's always been obvious what caused success, what I needed to do. You know, every time I watch content through the internet or on television, I watched Oprah the other night because he was watching and I was working. She was interviewing George Lucas and he was saying the same shit. We took it to all the studios, every single one of them, and nobody wanted it. So what did you do? So I said, well, I'm not gonna give up now. You're stuck, you haven't started because you're stuck. I, I think the fear of losing trumps the excitement of victory for so many people. So here you go, what? What are you gonna talk about? What do you wanna be known for? Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what do I want to do every day for the rest of my life? Do that. And see, what people need to understand is the way we communicate today is so different. Yeah. And the platforms have been redefined. You want to be in health and fitness, you want to be in strategy, you want to be in social media, you want to be in, in sneakers, you want to be in coffee, you want to be in electronics, you want to be in, in, in fashion. You collect Smurfs, Smurf it up. You can make $70,000 a year talking about the Smurfs. <laughs> Whether that's your mission or where you're at right now. Your truth, manifesto. Tell me what you're thinking about it. Like, If somebody made a video eight years ago that I think fashion should be high-low, I think people should wear expensive stuff and inexpensive stuff in one wardrobe, they would have been like the queen or king of the vision of the fashion industry just by making a video. Predicting that Facebook acquires Instagram. It's like Facebook's gonna buy Instagram. Four months later it happens. So I was on Pierce Morgan. This company's 550 days old. How the hell is it worth a billion dollars? And my opening line is, they stole it. And then, I guess last year this time, right, uh, Facebook bought WhatsApp for 18 billion and every article like the next day after the news came out is like, oh wait a minute, they fucking stole Instagram. The how is, there's only certain few ways to communicate in the world. Whether this is video form, something okay. extreme. Yeah. Like just get on a train and go away for a week or something different. You have to break pattern. Whether this is audio form. Sitting here listening to my music list and I'm starting to find a little clarity. Audio being a podcast. You're an outspoken advocate for both hustle and self-awareness. Yes. But if you had to put them in order, even if it's a 1A and 1B. Self-awareness. Self-awareness is not more even important close. Than when you know who really? you are, yes. When you know who you are, hustle sexier. Yeah. Like, it would've been cooler for like the people listening for me to say hustle, because it's cooler, right? Heck, you don't even have to do a podcast. Put the record on your phone and just speak your truth. As I sit here right now, writing this article, um, uh, or at least memoing it, because that's how I do it. Get in front of a camera, selfie style. You know, I'm old now, kids, so at 40, I've observed a lot. And I can tell you that optimism and positivity is a huge variable. Good morning, Instagram me, Gary. Instead of a motivational quote or some sort of clip, I just want to go camera to face. Just tell you how much I appreciate all of you guys. Your attention means the world to me. Set it up on a tripod or have a D-Rock. It's your nephew, your sister. Nate, give me this. Give me this real quick. Nathan, the intern is here. You, some of you, you guys might remember him. Or you write it. But the way all of you need to do this and how you actually start is by doing. I create an obnoxious amount of content because of the strategy of how we do it. Don't do anything, just keep watching. Keep watching my stuff. Keep being entertained by my energy. Keep being inspired, don't do. Don't fucking have dinner at seven o'clock and drink two beers. Like, when your strategy is right, you win. And so, we have figured out that pillar content creates content underneath it at scale. 
everybody, welcome to the first hashtag Ask Gary V. I think it's the first one, but I actually do think I tried to do this once before. I feel like I've got the team now in place to actually do this more often. It's macro patience. Macro patience. Deploy patience. You've gotta deploy patience. You've gotta love the process. What's the ROI of social media? So I look at her and go, what's the ROI of your mother? There are so many people in here that shouldn't be producing video because that is not the best way they communicate. Only a decade ago, if I was speaking here, all I would be talking about is blogging. Yet, there are people in this room that are caught up by picture and video communication and they are tremendous writers and they don't realize that blogging or posting on Medium or even my favorite little hack right now, if you're a good writer and you wanna build up a profile for your business or for yourself, I actually highly recommend you start blogging inside of Facebook and Instagram. I literally mean writing seven, 15, 25 sentences, three, four, five paragraphs word of written content within your feeds that people will absolutely consume. So that's number one and two. The what and, and how, right? Like how are you gonna do it? And then where? Distribution. That's, that's what you need to figure out next. And it's the hardest part for a lot of you. Hardest part is to start. The next hardest, a lot of things are hard. Hard to start, hard to know what format to do it in, audio, written, video. And then number three, how do you get people to see it? It all goes down in the DM. The key is providing other people more value. I just don't see people doing it. It blows me away and it is absolutely, I want the full, and it is absolutely going down on Instagram DM. Influencers, or you pay for it. Either you pay in Facebook ads, Instagram ads, sponsorship deals, YouTube pre-rolls against people of those interests, fashion, you know, food, wine, sneakers, technology, or, or you reach out to people that have audiences. Search hashtags, click them, look at the account, then see how you can bring them value, DM them, go in soft, bring value, rinse and repeat two, three, four, five thousand times. So the thing mainly should do is go Upper East Side, looking good, this guy looks like he's a picture. Hey G. Instagram influencers right now, today, for doers, is the probably be- only behind Facebook ads the single best arbitrage in marketing. And then you try and then you learn. When you're a pioneer, you have to taste it. There's no report, there's no white paper, there's no modeling mixed metrics that are gonna teach you how that's gonna work. When you're the first explorer, you have to taste the berries and hopefully they're not poisonous. We're living through this incredible era of massive opportunity, yet everybody's talking and reading and nobody's fucking doing. Start fucking executing. So what does that mean? That means you should write a medium blog post every week. Content, podcast, video, written, quotes, pictures, and then tactics. What scares me quite a bit is that most of you, when you see these logos, you think of a piece of content that you make and you think of those five channels and more as places where you distribute it. Twitter and Facebook are tools. Twitter and Facebook are markers and crayons. They're a fax machine. These are not just distribution channels. These are channels where you have to natively storytell. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram are ABC, NBC, and CBS. And what I've figured out for the last decade is how to make MASH and The Andy Griffin Show and ER and Seinfeld. And my question is, yeah. how do I hustle and stop being a pussy and attack the world? <laughs> like, I want to be where you are. I've got What's blocking the, you? Some, I don't know. Other people's POV? Yes. That's exactly. the one, man. Did see classic in its style? Wouldn't guess Santa Rita Hills? Yes, that's a big. Little snippy snip. Please, take a step back and think about how awesome it actually is. It is imperative that not only do you start thinking about your content strategy on these platforms for your business. Facebook targeting. I mean, like, you know, I mean, that's it. Like, you can literally put your business address, run a mail, a, a radius around it, or everybody in the 07081 zip code, or the 08802 Asbury Jersey in the house uh, zip code, and everybody will see it in that in that zip code in that feed. It's a piece of cake. So if you talk about coffee. Google the word coffee and the word blog or coffee and media company and literally email every editor and writer of every coffee blog on the internet. The way you're gonna make money online and by the way, anywhere, is by grabbing it. So if I were you, I would do this. I would go to Google, 
I would type in beer, so I would click this one, pubglasses.com. I'd go to this site, I'd see what they have, I would find the phone number of this place, here's a phone number, I'd pick it up, Hello, who would I speak to about you guys possibly um, advertising on my beer blog? Uh, that's me, the owner, Dean. Then search the hashtag coffee and go to every coffee influencer and coffee barista and coffee media site on Instagram and DM them and ask them to give awareness to this manifesto you just wrote. And one out of every 147 will, but that's better than zero. Undervaluing just that one view it needs to be the right view, but it's one view is a humongous mistake. That's it, that's how you do it. The what? That I'm willing to sit here right now and make this video, hoping that one fucker, one fucker, says, oh shit, yeah, like fuck it. The where that's written word, you look at the mediums, the LinkedIn, the WordPresses, you, you start a blog, right? Or you do it on your Facebook, or you do it on your Instagram. How? There's only really three core ways in the current internet to really communicate to the world. The written word, or video, what I'm doing right now. YouTube, Facebook video, uh, Instagram one minute versions. Video is the other way we communicate. And number three, audio. The, the boom of podcast. These are things that matter. What the fuck do you want to talk about? How are you going to communicate it? Written audio or video? And how do you get people to actually see it? This is where we showed you how to go into the DM, right? Then, or you've got to figure out how to use some money and use Facebook ads and target the people that you're trying to reach. Or grinding hustle. Just literally emailing 700 to 1500 different blogs or media sites and saying, do you want to distribute my content? Somebody has a 14,000 person email newsletter about coffee news. Find that person and ask them. Just gotta ask. And, and be smart, jab, jab, right hook. Ask them what you can do for them because you want everybody to read this. Eat, post it on Medium and hit up the editors of Medium who curate content. Post a link on it into Reddit, right? Hit up the 4,700 coffee influencers on YouTube and send them a message and ask them if they want to read it on their YouTube channel that has 147 views. 147 views is better than zero. The fucking work. That's how you start.